every gift that we brought back to the restaurant has a special memory attached to it. So there's no way I could choose, limit it to just one. The front of the building was a used bookstore and then a uh, liquor store and a motorcycle repair shop in the back. Okay. We renovated, did a major renovation, excavated uh, the basement, built out the property line, and we went up three stories to replicate the feeling that we had, of, that the restaurant had, when we were 10 feet next door in the Fox Theater. In this building, my husband had this vision, especially the wall that we call La Strada di Nona, the wall of the grandparents, or the street of the grandparents, and he had drawn it out on a sketch pad and just handed it to the uh, construction guys and says, I want this up there. And somehow they made it happen. And then as we collected things over the years, it just kind of evolved and every new little treasure found its own space in the restaurant. All those little storefronts are dedicated to the family ancestors and what they did when they immigrated from Sicily to the United States. So it's as if you're dining in the midst of a piazza where you have all the little storefronts around you. My guests, my beautiful guests that come in and, and all with their own stories and histories and memories. And that's the mo most unique and beautiful part. 52 years, crazy. That was left over from the Fox Theater next door. When we were on that stage for 20 years, the vaudeville uh, dressing rooms were underneath this actual stage and that's where our restrooms were and where we would store all the wine and at the end of that long um, corridor was King Kong in a cage and everybody loved King Kong in a cage it became the monster wine cellar so we had to continue that when we moved next door so we still have King Kong down there but we have some other monsters as well People would say, it was so scary when I was four. It's not so bad anymore. That took a scissor lift to get up there. But it'll mostly be auctioned off, and I'm really excited for my customers, my guests, to have some little memorabilia of Angela's when she's in their home. That would mean a lot to me. It's been different. You know, I, I ran the restaurant with him for 22 years, and then with him being gone 18, it's it's a, it's different. So um, we never had any children. So this is my child. This is the, my team. Is my family. My guests are my family. So it's hard to um, hard to let go. I'll always be in my heart. I hope everybody continues to talk about memories made at Ansel's and Minchies keep us alive in that way.